This is Fred Beck from Fred Talks Fighting. I'm joined over Zoom by Liam Chivers. It's been a while since we've done one of these kind of sit down things. Have you been all right, Liam? Yeah, all good, all good. Uh, sitting back, being quiet, not stirring any pots of uh, issues going on in the uh, in the industry. As usual, I try and stay out and handle things in, in the background as professionally as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we'll touch on a few of those bits and pieces. But yeah, just, just keen to get to clarity on a few fights and um, see the rest of this year being really successful. Mm, certainly. I know I'm a short time, so let's go straight into it. Pernice and Gibb. What's his plan? What's his plan? Um, well, yeah, his plan is obviously, yeah, to fight again. Um, it's a long, long-winded question, really. I mean, his plan is, I mean, obviously with Gib, with the kingpin side of things, you've seen different reports and bits and pieces. Gib was one, I, I can't talk for other fighters, etc. cetera. Um, he's obviously really disappointed the way the uh, the tournament may peter out and may not have may not conclude because it was his latest narrative if you like gibbs all about those completing step by step from redemption in miami ko the ceo the tournament format complete sort of kingpin and then on to the next but that's sort of in limbo because he hasn't had the chance to fight kenny on there and so that's disappointing and he's you know having a bit of thought in terms of what the next if that doesn't happen and can't happen at some stage whether it be in the the tournament final or elsewhere then it's well what what's the what's the next plan and he's he's in no rush you know people wrongly and i'm sure we've covered this ourselves and i still see people spamming twitter people think oh gibbs all about taking the bag and the biggest fight whoever will pay the most money it's not about that we give it's all about the narratives and being excited to train as hard as he does uh and test himself and challenge challenge himself ever since you know right back when he fought jake paul never since so he's all about the interest in it again people say oh he doesn't promote enough he does he, he films a lot and he has a lot of great co- i mean his promotional videos are fantastic we all know that some say he maybe needs to do more of them but he has filmed more it's just never been there's always been something stopping like uh a social gloves too why should he over promote uh someone you know mcbroom's promotion who's technically scammed a whole load of other fighters in the past why you know when there's issues over the build-up for a semi-final in a tournament we don't even know if it's going to go ahead when he's scheduled all these promotional videos like well i can't drop them in case it something goes wrong and lo and behold look what's happened so he just needs a really secure um safe platform to have the confidence and a great partner where he can he can uh, work in tandem um and yeah there's there's no rush right now because he's still technically because he I mean, I have said this on a, on a on one of those uh, Twitter sp- uh, X spaces recently. Gib has been paid for his semi final fight, whereas I think other fighters are still chasing money for for whatever reason. Um, how much we can go into that, I don't know. But um, the point is, he's still therefore technically under contract with Kingpin until when the tournament should have ended. Um, so they could pull something out of the bag with the zone. It could happen. There may be a date, uh, and until we pass a certain date, we can't just suddenly go and fight somewhere else because we don't want any more contractual <laughs> headaches. So whereas others have obviously not been paid on time and therefore Kingpin have been in breach technically of those contracts, um, Gibbs not, no, no one's in breach of Gibbs contract right now. So we've just t- treading a little carefully on that. So we think perhaps the, you know, people keep talking, I'll oh, get him on the, uh, get him on the prime car, get him on the October car. We'll miss it. It's not as easy as that. Got to be a little bit careful on that timing. Um, also got things to sort out there anyway. You know, JJ's already come out with a tweet this week saying, no, he doesn't want Gib Gib Kenny on, on, on Misfits. Well, okay. Um, obviously, he qualified that later saying he just would rather than fight different people. But, you know, we've got to work out who that is and what's what's the, what's the plan. So long-winded answer. Um, he's in no rush. Um, would love the tournament to be concluded, whether it's on whatever platform, whether it's still on a DAZN platform, that's where the lion in line lies the problem with Kingpin and that relationship with the zone. And that's not for me to disclose details of why things haven't been paid yet or, or reported yet. Um, but whether that's on misfits, that'd be that, you know, there's no, there's no hard feelings there, but it has to be the right narrative and he has to have the feeling he's not, there's no bias against him going on there. Why does Gib not, not just post a video on Twitter? I know who watches. So, I love Gib, but why does he not just post a tweet out or a video just to update about- to his friends to tell him what's going on? Because everybody else is talking and noise around it anyway, so he, he's, know, he's being talked out, about everyone, anyhow. I know, I know, but Liam yeah, yeah. puts the video out; it will kind of clarify things. I thought that's a smart move from his team. They should put out a video. 
no, like I say, he's still technically under a contract. Still I technically know, just, can't just talk just too much. Explain it though. So what you've explained to me there, if Gibb puts it out, everyone will know. If he just puts it out in a shorter form. So Gibb, you've got to do that, man. I know you're watching this. You no, because a million, million, million people ask, oh, well, what about this then? And what about that? And he's like, you know, I'm doing my thing. When he's ready, you know, he, he'll, he'll, he'll smash it and uh, the next step will be unveiled. Okay. Is he what's Gibb doing now? Is he going on a little holiday? Doing a bit of traveling. Well he did well, you know, he went to Japan. Again, you might say that was a bit of a break after the uh, the Jarvis fight, which it was, but he also was out there filming content and potential promotional content for the final. So he was there, he went to the he went to you know out there because he knew he was fighting Fulton at the time, if you remember. He went out to see that. Um and he wanted to be around the different training methods and things. So he he's very creative, he's thinking of new angles for content. But you don't, no one gets to see these things because you know things keep falling through. <laughs> so that's why you should miss it. Miss it's a promotion. Do well, good. I think that's what it comes down to on this, and you know, a little bit. It's worth going into it a bit. You know, what happened right and wrong with Kingpin? Absolutely, and this is why way back, you know, when I took KSI Logan to to the zone, we needed a platform. You need that platform. You need that big, you know, the a company which has a lot of investment in anti-piracy measures and protection and has budgets for different different things. When you're doing your own white label, pay-per-view platform, untried, untested, not particularly secure, you let you, you've clear. There's another example of Kingpin failing. It, you know, the piracy was horrendous. Um, I'm not saying it's great on other places, but. There's a lot more more attention and uh, proven ways to to work on that when you when you have got that big broadcaster beef behind you. So yeah, no, I agree absolutely. The platform is the way to go. But Kingpin wanted a platform. They were meant to have a deal with a couple of uh, UK broadcasters. Actually, they didn't happen in time for the first event, which would have covered a lot of that huge. Everyone keeps talking about three million outlays and and bits and pieces. So. It, you know they got they got screwed over they put way too much money into it to make a splash which they needed to they needed to show hey we're just as good in terms of production and, and what we're doing as misfits they couldn't just be you know a, a z list version of, of what's going and they had to step it up and keep it doing but equally they didn't have their 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 eggs aligned properly on the financial sides um to protect the streams and have the broadcast partners and therefore the might of that sort of or, organic promotion uh either so you know that that's that's a big learning for them whether they come back whether there will be a final whether there's a, a kingpin in, in the future things will determine how they get paid from previous streams and bits and pieces but um it, it, you're right a platform is key whether that be a DAZN, an espn a showtime it does you know it, it has to be an elite sports broadcaster just because the level of interest and the level of um you know the money that is going into these events without that this is what happens so mm. yeah, I agree. Misfits have that. They have that beautiful connection. Four or five years, four four years left at least with uh, with the zone. There there are budgets per event. There are loss leading events. There are there is a plan where over a period of time the business is um, financially viable. And um, you know, doing white label pay, pay per view platforms yourself. I learned this years ago when we were doing obviously first Logan and then moving moving from there. It wasn't the one trying to do it ourselves, and unfortunately, some people think, "Oh, that's fine," you know, we'll we'll, we'll give it a go. They lose money, and then look, well, look what happens. So, yeah, all hats off to Misfits. They got their broadcaster in place early and in place and secure, and that is what is needed. Mm, that's fair. To be honest, Gibb, he has been quite unlucky. To be fair, in the past, about all his videos he's done, I didn't know. Like, no one knows he was filming videos out in Japan. Oh yeah, no, holiday, exactly. No. He's, he's very unlucky. He's he's um, a promotional genius, and he should be part of any marketing plan around any of these fights. And he, he offered this initially with social gloves. Obviously, they didn't take that up. Then the second one, he wasn't going to offer that because the whole point was I'm taking down social gloves for what they did before. I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to do my minimum obligations. If Austin McBroom doesn't upload videos on the Ace Family channel because it's a family channel, that's on him. So, you know, people say, oh, yeah, he can't sell pay-per-views. Of it. He can. He really engages content, uh, uh, the audience with his content more than anybody else in terms of, you know, things go beyond Gibbs' own views. People share and react and respond because they're so clever as pieces of content. There's always hidden meanings in them. There's always people talking about, oh, look at the way he said this and that. And and he knows how to do that, but he's quite protective of that. Um, and unfortunately, each of those couple of times, social gloves, and then after the, uh, the obviously when he did the Kingpin, his first video to announce Kingpin, 
great video, but Kingpin had a problem with their ticketing uh, partner and the tickets weren't available, if you remember, to actually benefit mm-hmm. from that video. So it's always there's always been a few issues. And obviously with the semi-final, we were, he wasn't even fighting until the, the, a day before fight week began. In fact, it was a shortened fl- fight week, if you remember. He, he flew out on the Thursday. So it, you can't do a, a build-up of six weeks of promotional plan like Gib would do. So he's not been fairly judged on that yet. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair enough. But do you think who's going to fight this year? It's eight okay. Say Kingpin is done. It's washed. It's not happening anymore. Mm. And then Misfits is the the brand, right? Do you think Gib will fight this year or Misfits, or do you think it'll be next year? Well, you know, he's got. There are other options out there. You know, he's from Saudi himself. There's, there's obviously Misfits would be the safe, secure one. A lot of people would say, well, you should just do that. But obviously, we've got. You know, and I speak to Mams all the time. He's totally cool with anything before. Gib needs to get over a, a little bit too because they did hang him out and everyone now has this tarnished thing that Gib's all about the money because he didn't accept a Misfits offer. He never had a Misfits offer. If That came after we'd already agreed a Kingpin tournament and already agreed, if you remember, a Mayweather fight just happened to be worth a lot more money. It wasn't that he he picked between them and he turned down and refused to... to they were very busy with their other shows and other fighters. So when it came... Because don't forget, he'd just done the McGroom fight and then he's had a bit, bit of time out, then back in training the opportunity of being on a Misfits card never aligned properly. He never turned down a Misfits offer. So it's not a case of, oh, Gib wants this and that and the other. You know, it's part of the bravado anyway, and it's great storyline and promotion, isn't it? But for people to then say, oh, you know, he gets paid too much. And they said, how, does, how do you know? How do you know what he's been paid? How do you know, you know, Good. what he, Who he cares? Has, hasn't Get a down. bag. Credit to you, Liam. Well, get, well also, get, there you go. Get yeah, the bag. Exactly. Get the bag. But also, you know, it's not a case of Gib you know, not being worth what he's paid. Um, nobody knows exactly what he's been paid. Um, but the point is, he he didn't just choose to fight Floyd Mayweather because of the money. It was because it was Floyd Mayweather instead of Slim, which would you choose? Right? <laughs> no offense to Slim. I love Slim, but... <laughs> you, you see my point. It wasn't the fact that he got paid more to, to, to... You know, the point was there. There you go. And then the tournament was just a great format. Love the idea of the whole you know, being the best of that that bracket, conquering that side of the business, then it would have been a natural transition to to take on the best of misfits and be part of that again. It was all very clear, but it's all a little bit muddy now because the way the tournament's end. He needs that conclusion uh, one way or other. Uh, obviously, JJ said he doesn't want to conclude that misfit. So again, we've got to think around that too. Mm, that's fair. I'm um, just moving before I let you go. Deji, any chance he'll be on the prime card? We've tried really hard. Really that, hard. That was so, a it was going to be Bryce Hall. Bryce Hall said he wants it, but Bryce Hall has said that for two years. <laughs> Bryce wakes up each day wanting to do a different thing, whether it be a movie or go on holiday or not fight or train or eat or party or whatever it be. So, yeah, Bryce was meant to be. We were hoping this time he was serious because obviously he's just gone, gone and done a bare knuckle fight, which was just like, well, he's clearly serious about fighting. That put no, <laughs> dispelled any any uh, any doubt of that over Bryce ever wanting to get in the ring. That was fantastic. Um, and, you know, Deji, Deji needs those those sparks and those again similar to Gibb in some ways. He's not just going to go and fight anybody for the sake of it. He he loves that sort of. Um, uh, he needs to you know that little little uh, little nudge and, and excitement. And Bryce has had that. And I think they're both sim- They operate similarly. They dip in and dip out. They train. They don't train. They have good. They balance their lifestyles. It just seemed right for October, but unfortunately, Gib tro- uh, sorry, um, Bryce trolls again there. Oh, I've injured my hand. That's healed. Oh, I don't want to fight on a Prime branded card. We don't have to promote Prime, and it's just a sponsor, even though it's named it. So he was just messing around. He's not ready. But so we can't hold out for Bryce any, Bryce any longer. So we did actually have, uh, we were very close to having Deji fight a really big name on the Prime card. They've decided they're not going to be ready in time. That was Winston and- Nunes. How do you know? Oh wow, it was. I'm good. No, how do you I'm know? I'm very underrated I, in this scene. No, you've just ah. stated a fact. It was this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it. it you know, he's a, he's another great option, isn't he? Ever since. Do you remember when they had that face to face of the um at the Kingpin tournament when Deji stood in because he was helping co-host when uh, Winston had no opponent? Do you remember that? And it just well, they just looked the right size and shape. Yeah, it looked great, didn't it? No, he he, he looked, no. Winston's not fighting at the moment. Um, I think you know, obviously with the Kingpin thing himself. Um, whether he's got the interest to go and fight in the losers bracket and get all that done, you know, that's probably not. You know, Jarvis has moved on too anyway. Uh, Nunes is a great one for down the line. Um, but anyway, we nearly had a a, a big name, um, and we are going to hold out a little bit longer for that one because it is one we don't want to let go. But it it won't mean 
that that person is ready and therefore Deji isn't just going to fight for the sake of it on on the prime card. Um, so yeah, it looks like at this stage, unfortunately, he's going to miss out, which is was always the plan. He was always we've always focused on on the October card to be on his brother's pay per view, and um, he should be on the big pay per view events. And it's disappointing that Bryce and one other person have pulled away. No, Gib does. Um, Deji doesn't need to just fight anybody does he? he he's he's in that sort of area where he can pick and choose and have the have the you know, the big name once you fought Floyd Mayweather why would you why would you uh fight anybody who just calls you out you know it's on it's up to him who he fights what about the wasabi rematch fighting Alex Wasabi again so Alex has been it's calling for it but I haven't heard much from kind of your side of things uh he hasn't reached out I think he's always all he talks about these days is doing tag teams with with Nick right well, when I, saw him in a, when I saw him in LA, he was very keen on the Deji rematch. So that's a big fight for both men. Of course he is. Well, it's a big fight for Wasabi. Deji doesn't need it. But, um, well, I think know, that'd Wasabi. be good. No, no, no. I think that'd be good for Deji. Yeah, it's part, part, part. It's, it's, it's something not, to tick off. Lines. That's like a big storyline. The rematch. Can Deji get the win back? I think that'd be Wasabi was so man. dull, though, wasn't he, in the build up? He wasn't particularly excited for Deji. Does he want to do that again? At some stage, you know, t- ticks a few, few big names off the list, gets the Bryce fight done. This other one we're talking about. Bring, then, then you look at okay. Then, then we bring Wasabi back into the uh, conversation. It's not mm. an immediate need. Okay, a Vinny Hacker. Any news on Vinny? Do you reckon? Doing Oh, best? not since the not since months ago when we had all that fun. Where you know, he, I'm sure when he wants to fight, he'll let us know. We're not chasing him, even less so than chasing Bryce. Yeah. Vinny, 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 Vinny is in it. Yeah, you know, again, he'd be on that list of Wasabi, Vinny. Uh, but Vinny, Vinny will just mess you about for a while because he's not interested. He's, he's doing other stuff. Okay, that's fair. It'd be nice you can get the Vinny fight again, the Masabi fight. It's kind of a clean Yeah, yeah. Play, let's let's it? let's do it. Three fight deal, misfits next year, twenty twenty four. Bang, bang, bang. That would be great. But things aren't that simple. <laughs> yeah, as only I can imagine. But apart from that, Liam, are you going to be at the prime card though? You must. I hope be- so yeah, it's a shame. You know, we're not there working on it now with 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 Deji or, or Gib. But things can change. You know, it's. I mean, time's ticking now, right? It's only uh, just over a month away till fight week. So we'd have to work pretty quick to be heavily involved in it now. But uh, yeah, I'd love to obviously come up and, and, and watch it. It's going to be an event not to miss. And you, will you be at the Newcastle card? I take it no. No, I'll go to Newcastle now. No, sorry. A, bit <laughs> a little too bit far. too far. A bit too far up north, yeah. A bit too far, yeah. No, no, you can't. I mean, I'll definitely be at fight week for... Uh... For, for the for the miss for, for the uh, October card, though. It'll be, it'll just be a great buzz around it. The charity match, are you going? Unfortunately not. Oh wow! You can do anything nowadays, Liam. Swim, uh, swim tournament. Uh, she's quite a. Not, I won't say an elite swimmer, but she's 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 getting to na- regional sort of levels of really? different things. So that that same day is uh, a dad day. Yeah, <laughs> it's oh, wow. a shame. All these things are weekends. You know, <laughs> you can't go to them all. You know, so uh, no, I won't be going up to Newcastle. Unfortunately, I can't make some charity match, which is a real shame. Because again, another great um, tentpole moment for YouTube over the years, and I've been to obviously most of them. Um, but yeah, not this one. Mm, okay, that's fair enough. Are you playing in it? I wish. <laughs> no, I think <laughs> as a fan, it's quite. I'm quite looking forward to it. Kind of go into an event where you don't have to think about doing work. Put a few tweets out. But that's it. Are that's you not going to get access at pitch side to to interview them as they're getting roll and roll off subs? Maybe I, if I ask Stuart, he might allow it. But I don't want to annoy anyone. I don't like. I feel like I'm. As it is now, I'm always so like. Fred, you always annoy people. You always ask for what you want. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me that as if you've no, not, I know, not I know I already do, yeah. asked I bet you've already sent out emails and texts I have no 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 honestly I actually DMs. haven't no, oh, no, really? actually, this year I actually haven't um, but no I thought like this time I'll follow a few I know everyone is hanging around in the UK so I'll follow up with a few managers beforehand but I don't want to annoy yeah. anyone anymore <laughs> <laughs> oh Leon that's so true actually I do I do hassle a lot of people but no um, yeah it should be should be good for, just before they go thoughts on the Newcastle card it's a three thousand five hundred seat arena. Do you think they'll sell? Free- Wait, which is the arena? Because they haven't. I thought it'd be like, is it the Elita or something? They haven't put it on the posters. What the actual I don't know, is. but I know it's got three thousand seats in or three and a half thousand okay. seats. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. I mean, I like some of the names on the card. I think the fir- your first reaction is, oh geez, there's some good names on there. But y- your initial reaction is, oh, those are mismatches. The the the, the A side on those top three cards should should easily win. But then you think about it, you know. Temper's got to come back in and test himself. He's not going to come back in and <laughs> risk getting knocked out again uh, straight away. In his mind, who knows? Ginty may may, may step up and, and show some show some form. He may show some some toughness like he did against JMX. Um, 
I think, no disrespect to Ham, but I'm assuming people will just think that Raksu will just walk through him. But, you know, Ham works hard. You never know. I think him and Ginty, they came off quite badly, didn't they, last time they fought in their own fight. And I think they're both going to have uh, a lot to prove. And it's great on Mams to give them that shot. And like, hey, guys, this is it. Two tough fights. Show us what you can do. So I do like that. Um, you'd think Virgo should win the main event because he's, he's but, but you know, Chalmers is a is a real competitor, and he's he's had a, he's had a few good high profile fights this year, and he's tested himself, and it's great when there's someone who will just get in the ring like that. So, and he's a big Newcastle boy as well, so that's very important that he's on that on that card. Mm, if only two Geordie could box on that card, then they'd be perfect. Oh, wow. It would make yeah, sense, yeah, yeah. wouldn't it? Should, I've always yeah, said yeah. to them, they should always have the. Luckily, they've got Aaron Chalmers, who's from Newcastle. They should always base around the card around two people from that town. Yeah, makes... like Jay with Telford, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, Swing Jay with Telford's a perfect example. I mean, the Sheffield card was great before that. If that had been a Birmingham, poof, yeah, imagine. Yeah, Jay's yeah. right now, he's in Europe traveling far, just, far just away. Just set off, yeah, just set off. He ain't coming back to boxing, or we got two years and he'll be back. Ah, oh, who knows with Jay? I mean, he's, he's got he's he's all in on on content at the moment, and this this travel, this 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 content he's making. As he's got the new childish launch as well. He he's very busy, and uh, he's really enjoying YouTube again at the moment. So. See how he is. It'll, it'll get to the end of the year. Go, go on, burn out from YouTube now. I've just pushed the boundaries to there. What should I do next? I need to get fit again. Okay. <laughs> Speaking see. of childish, I'm still waiting for my childish hoodies. Actually, there's red childish. That's yeah, me. That's Ramel. <laughs> Ramel, Ramel. Okay, I'll send Ramel a message. Sorry, Ramel. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Liam. That's great. Thank you very much. Cheers, Red.